Hi everyone, Miss Chirpin here once again for your next major project. We are venturing into three-dimensional art once again, but this time we are drawing things that look three-dimensional on a flat piece of paper. Um, obviously, being virtual, trying to think of ways that we can go into that three-dimensional realm um, with limited materials, so that's always a challenge. Um, but I'm going to try to incorporate several main parts into one lesson, several main concepts that I definitely want you to get to this year. Um, the first one is abstract art. Um, if you've been in my class before, you know we always do the big abstract paintings. We focus on line, shape, color, texture, and abstract art. If you remember from that fun little video we just saw, there's non-figurative, there's figurative, there's non-objective art, there's art with imagery that's considered abstract. And like he talked about Picasso, remember we did those Picasso faces, that was very abstract because they do not look realistic. So we are incorporating abstract art with a one point perspective and three dimensional shapes. And I like to call this abstract art 3D explosions because they kind of look like they're exploding off your page. So it looks kind of complex, but it's really pretty simple to draw. All you have to do is start with shapes. Um, I'm gonna be looking for three basic shapes, square, I recommend square rectangle, even like a cube or a prism may work. For this project, I would stick to squares and rectangles. It's just a little bit easier to deal with. So three basics. Then I want you to get creative and think of three or more abstract. So three or more abstract shapes. When you are doing these shapes, try to keep in mind that you need a point to create a line from. So like this little funny shape has three points, all going to the vanishing point. That is your vanishing point for a one point perspective that makes all your shapes look like they're going back into space, okay? So, any kind of abstract with points. All right, so keep that in mind. Once you have created these shapes out here, then it's really easy. You just take a ruler and start connecting lines in to your vanishing point. Um, the best thing to do is start with your vanishing point. Take your pencil and just make a big dot Try to find kind of the middle of your paper. And then you can simply create those lines using a ruler, nice and straight, going into that vanishing point, okay? So basically that's all the drawing. Once you have your shapes and they are connected to your vanishing point, then you can go into your shapes and start having fun with those abstract expressionist shapes. Make up your own shape. See how creative you can be, okay? Big, little, curvy, straight, geometric, organic, all kinds of shapes you can do. Um, you have a choice. You can leave these solid, your sections, or you can add texture or other design work in this part. Okay, so I will leave that up to you. Um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna finish outlining this. It should be drawn in pencil first. Then you wanna outline everything with Sharpie, black marker, anything you have that's black, and then color. I'm asking for at least five colors on this. Abstract art is usually bold, colorful, and expressive. So you can really have fun with this with color. 
um, I'm going to say at least five colors. You can certainly do more than that. Okay. So I'm going to put this on time lapse, do a little outlining, coloring, and then I will finish up in just a bit. 